The UN Security Council has been discussing the political crisis in Guinea-Bissau, where the country's president dissolved the ruling party several months ago. A recent report from the UN Secretary General expressed concern over the power struggle. More from CCTV's Lorna Shadik at the UN in New York. The UN has been especially concerned about the political deadlock that's going on in Guinea-Bissau uh, since the president, Jose Mario Vaz, uh, dissolved the government back in May uh, and demanded that the new ruling party there choose a cabinet uh, and approve a government budget. Uh, now, the Security Council on Tuesday heard from Medibo Toure, who is the UN Secretary General's special representative on Guinea-Bissau. Uh, now, he commended the mediation efforts that are going on to try and break the impasse between the two main parties in the National Assembly there and said he was also uh, encouraged by the commitment of the European Union, the African Union and uh, ECOWAS. Uh, and in particular ECOWAS uh, because its mission in Guinea-Bissau has been credited with deterring the military from getting involved in the polit political situation. Uh, and indeed he commended the military for keeping its neutrality, which is very important in, uh, in a country which of course has suffered uh, multiple coups in recent years. And in fact the head of the UN Sanctions Committee on Tuesday also credited uh, UN sanctions from deterring the army from uh, interfering in the political situation, but warned that that might not last if the crisis dragged on, so urged that the sanctions be continued. Now, Mr. Torre also urged international aid donors to make sure they do still fulfil their commitments to Guinea-Bissau, even if they're frustrated by the deadlock there. And the head of the peace-building commission for the country uh, said that Guinea-Bissau could be a weak link in the effort to make progress in West Africa. He highlighted the urgency in particular of an ECOWAS presidential visit, which has been planned but doesn't yet seem to have materialised, saying the longer this political instability wears on, uh, the more difficult it will be to steer Guinea-Bissau back in the right direction. Lorna Shaddix, CCTV, New York.